Uh, I'm Doug Rex. I'm a practicing gastroenterologist at uh, IU Health, and my primary practice is in endoscopy and general gastroenterology. Well, the reason we need to get screening for colorectal cancer is, first of all, that this is an extremely common disease and it's very serious. It's often fatal. It's the third leading cause of cancer in both men and women in the United States, so it affects both sexes. Uh, it increases in prevalence and incidence with age, so it becomes more of a problem as, as we get older. But most importantly, it's a disease that really is preventable. IU Health has really been uh, a leader in colonoscopy development and colorectal cancer prevention over the past couple of decades. Actually, the first screening colonoscopy study that was ever performed was done here in Indiana in the late 1980s, and uh, the publication of that really dates the onset of research in colonoscopy. Well, so far, in terms of, of technology, we, we haven't really moved away from this platform of colonoscopy because it's so powerful. Not only can we identify the lesions, but we also can remove them in the same setting. It's pretty remarkable to be able to go into an organ, um, examine it, and then without changing its structure, its function, how it's going to work afterwards, eliminate all the precancerous lesions. That platform has proven to be so powerful that at this stage, really what we're primarily working on are ways of making it even better. And that means improvements in imaging and improvements in the insertion tube. Since that time, a number of important developments have occurred here in IU, and really IU Health has been the leader in the development of quality in uh, colonoscopy. The current targets that are recommended for um, colonoscopy performance for individuals who are practicing colonoscopy were really initially developed uh, here at IU. Those are for the detection of precancerous lesions, the amount of time that colonoscopy uh, should take in order to be done carefully. And we're currently very actively involved in a number of studies of new technology such as uh, the development of magnification uh, colonoscopes that will allow us to assess whether lesions are precancerous or not while they're still in the patient, that is whether or not they need to be removed uh, or not. Uh, the uh, development of new imaging techniques like the use of blue light rather than white light which can make blood vessels that are in the precancerous lesions more obvious and might make it easier uh, to detect. So we have uh, many publications over the years in the area of uh, colonoscopy and research is an important part of our daily practice.